गाइस शब्बी हुसैन जमशेदी इस है और फेसबुक आईडी ब्लॉग यूर ब्लॉग पेज एंड कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर ऑफ यू आर यू इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम्स और इश्यूज और एनी क्यूरीज रिलेटेड टू दी क्यूरियस विच आई एम नो गोइंग टू बी मेड और दूरियस विच आई हैव मेड बिफोर In this tutorial, I am going to tell you something about disk scheduling. Disk, hard disk. Disk means we are hard. We are talking about hard hard drive. The hard drive is made up of several platters. These platters have several sections like tray, sector, platter. This. Later, and we have a read-write head, which rotates, the disk rotates, and it reads the content of the disk and pass to the other parts of the CPU. What is disk scheduling? The operating system is responsible for using hardware efficiently. For the disk drive, this means having a fast access time and disk bandwidth. Disk scheduling is used to increase fast access time. Access time has two major components. Seek time is the time for the disks are to move the heads to the standard containing the desired sector. Rotational latency is the additional time waiting for the disks to rotate the desired sector to the disks head. The first scheduling disk scheduling algorithm is fcfs first come first serve like first come uh, first in first out algorithm which we have discussed in page replacement algorithm 5 same like this it is first come first serve the first come portion of the disk is serve first Several algorithms exist to schedule the servicing of disks. I will request input of the request. We will we will illustrate them with a request queue. Suppose we have a number queue of numbers which is now start from zero and end at one nine nine. These are we have a numbers and suppose the disk head pointer your disk head pointer is eight fifty three. So how we use the FCFS algorithm to solve the problem? Total help movement sixty four. How it comes? I will tell you. Here we have uh, numbers zero. It starts from zero and we arrange the number in ascending. The smallest number is fourteen and the next is thirty seven and. Sixty-five and sixty-seven and so on. We arrange the number in ascending order. It starts from zero and ends at one ninety-nine. Our disk head is at fifty-three. First come, first serve. We service to the nearest. We service to the first come. Number or disk position. Here we have 98. As is as is mentioned, that have pointer head is at 53. So it starts from 53, and the first number we have is 98 in the queue. It goes to 98. After 98, it goes to 183. After 183, it goes to 37. And then goes to 122, and then goes to 14, and then goes to 124, and 65, and 67, and so on. And the total disk movement is 64. How it comes out? I will tell you. We we for this we calculate the, all these numbers. First we subtract 53 minus 98, and then 98 minus 183, and then 183 minus 37. And thirty-seven minus this term. So I I uh, will calculate this term. First we have 
53 minus 98 plus I should first we have 53 minus 98 we don't mention the sign here we have 45 and the second is 98 to 183 98 minus 183 this is 85 again we don't mention the sign and from 183 it goes 37 we have 1 sorry 183 minus 37 which is 146 146 then it goes from 37 to 122 37 minus 122 which is 85 again 85 and it goes from 122 to 40 122 minus 40 108 from 14 to 122 108 again no, sorry 14 to 128 14 minus 128 it goes from 14 and 8 and to 124 14 minus 124 14 minus 124 sorry 14 minus 124 110 And lastly, it comes uh, 124 to 124 to 65. calculate all these from first we have 45 plus plus 85 plus 146 plus 85 plus 108 plus 108 plus 110 plus 59 plus 2 it becomes 7 for add I think we minus uh, 108 I think this term we have made is duplicate and our answer is 640 which is equal to 640 total dx movement this is how I tell you to calculate how cal how to calculate total head moment. In this case, we calculate total head moment. And the other one is we have SSTF shortest seek time first. Select the request select the request with the minimum seek time from the current head position. In FCFS, we have we goes to the order of the num uh, we goes to the number according to the order, order in which they are in the queue but in this shortest seek, uh, seek time first we goes to the uh, shortest number and give service to it and then goes to the nearest uh, shorter number service in the same way it service it gives service to all the number, all the numbers SSTF choose the pending request closest to the current head position SSTF scheduling is 
form of SGX shortest job as scheduling may cause starvation of some request. Starvation means some request may not be processed. In the same queue for the same queue we apply SSTF and our results will be Q36. This head position the same way. You can calculate the disk heat movement for this term similar to the which I have explained. In this case, our disk head position is 53, and with and the nearest term to the 53 is 65. It goes to 65 and then 67, and the nearest term to 67 is if we subtract 67 minus 37 become 30 and 98 minus 67 we have 32 so it goes to smallest one 37 and 14 and this term this term this term and similarly we calculate the dix movement for this term scan the dix are more in the scan scan algorithm the third one is scan algorithm the disk arm starts at one end of the disk and moves towards the other end. Servicing request upgrade gets the other end of the disk, where the head movement is reversed and service continues. The disk arm starts at one end of the disk and moves towards the other end of the disk. Service request until it gets the other end of the disk. Head continues scans back and forth, sometimes called elevator algorithm, means it goes up and down, means it goes from one end to other end and other end. Here you see it goes 53 and then goes 36. It goes here from 53 is the starting of the head position. It goes left side and gives service to all the numbers. And from here it goes, it moves to a right and gives services to all the other numbers. Circular scan, also called C scan, provides a more uniform wait time than scan. The head moves from one end of the disk to the other service request and it goes when it reaches the other end however it immediately returns to the beginning of the disk without servicing any request on the return trip. The difference is that uh, here it go goes here after reaching at the one end it gives service to the another number but in this case what it does after it Raised to the end position, it goes to the first number without servicing request any number and then starts servicing request to the numbers. Similar to this game. And the last one we, is we have look our C look. Arms only goes air far as the last request in each direction, then they reverse the direction immediately without first going all the way to the end of the disk. It goes the difference in circular C scan and C look or look is dead. In the C scan, the arm goes to the end of the queue, not the number. We have number from 98. 183 183 is last number but the queue it starts from 0 to 199 it goes to 199 199 not in our queue but in this case we goes only to 183 not 99 it goes to the last number and then return to the first number and then start servicing to the previous number Selecting a disk scheduling algorithm, SSTF is common and has a natural appeal. A scan and CC can perform better for a system that has a heavy load on the disk. Performance depends on the number and type of request. The request for disk service can be increased by the file allocation method. In exam, if they ask some of the scheduling algorithm and you have to ask the choose the best algorithm, then you answer SSTF shortest remaining time first because I think it has released uh, head positions. Thank you. I hope you have understand these topics. Thank you so much. Remember me in your prayers. Allah Hafiz.